Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I guess we'll uh, get started here. This is uh, Facebook for Newspapers. Uh, uh, I'm Nick Smith. I'm the web producer down at uh, Tucson Weekly and Inside Tucson Business. And uh, this uh, webinar is just kind of the uh, best practices that we use down here on uh, Facebook, social media, you know, as far as uh, posting stories and how often to post stories and what to do and what not to do and uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, that said, let's get to uh, what not to do. I came across this uh, article on The Onion uh, a couple uh, days ago, and uh, if, you, if you can't read it or if you're following along on phone, local fabric store urges you to check them out on Twitter. Um, whenever we uh, talk about social media or interact with social media, it's uh, you want to kind of put yourself out on Twitter without, uh, well, sounding pathetic as this uh, fabric store does. So <laughs> uh, one of the, uh, the cardinal sins is you don't want to say, hey, follow us. We have posts on Twitter. We have posts on Facebook. Um, be being newspapers, uh, we have a, uh, an opportunity to always put out new content and new articles and new uh, things for our readers. So we, we don't really have uh, that trap to fall into, you know, if you're a uh, if you're a fabric store, if you're a, a car dealership, you know, you always have to get that new content out there, and we've got uh, plenty of it, so that shouldn't be uh, too much of trouble. Okay, so uh, a lot of you uh, probably didn't uh, have Facebook around when you were my age, uh, so why is this important? Why are we uh, uh, so concerned with uh, social media and uh, Facebook more specifically? Uh, well, uh, as you've uh, probably seen from the, uh, the latest uh, movie trailers and ads and, and articles, Facebook has uh, 500 million users, and uh, a lot of those are in the United States. A uh, good chunk are uh, around the rest of the world, but still, that's uh, not a number you can uh, shake a stick at. And the, uh, the thing to keep in mind is, uh, with any sort of company, you have to go where your audience is, and that's especially true with... Uh, newspapers, any new sort of media. So if a lot of your audience is on Facebook and Twitter, uh, you have to also make sure that you have some sort of presence there, and you have to make sure that you're managing that presence with uh, some sort of plan. So um, the, the thinking behind uh, most of these strategies is most people spend more time on social network sites than they will on your local news site, and that's you know just a natural uh, thing. People probably aren't going to, you know, keep hitting refresh on your news site to get the latest stories, but they may have uh, Facebook on their phones all the time. They may have uh, Facebook on at work all the time, and that's the opportunity where the newspapers can come in and uh, you know, tell them the latest news, give them the latest update, you know, whatever. And the uh, uh, main thing to keep in mind about this is uh, you may be a small newspaper, you know, the only game in town. You may be... Uh, in a larger market with larger newspapers, TV stations, radio stations, whatever, if you aren't on Facebook and aren't engaging them, someone else will. Someone else will eventually, uh, you know, find a way to interact with that audience to, um, you know, make make sure they're getting the news from their source and not from your newspaper. And nowadays, um, having that Facebook strategy is almost as important as having a website. I was watching TV last week, and there was an ad for Quaker Oats, and instead of asking you to go to the Quaker Oats uh, website, he was asking you to go to the Quaker Oats Facebook page. And um, this is important for companies because now they can track uh, not only how many people uh, you know, like their product or interact with their product, but uh, they have that opportunity to engage with their audience that a television commercial or even just a static website can't. So, uh, how has Facebook worked out for us at the Tucson Weekly and Inside Tucson business? Well, uh, at the Weekly over the past year, it's been the top referring site. This is more than uh, Google News, Yahoo News. Most people are finding our site uh, when they click on links through Facebook. And 31% uh, of all our referrals in the past month came through Facebook, 16% uh, in the last year, so as you can see, it's uh, on the rise. Uh, Inside Tucson business has similar numbers. Uh, we're the number to refer uh, right behind Google News and that accounts for about 10% of all our referrals um, throughout the year. That's um, everything. If people post a link on their website or through Twitter, whatever, Facebook has been uh, the primary driver uh, for getting traffic to these websites. 
Now, the, uh, the way we approach uh, the Facebook down here is we uh, try to make it the, the hub of all our social media. So anything we post on Facebook automatically goes to Twitter. Uh, we feature all of our Flickr photos uh, on Facebook. This is the place to host discussions. This is the place to uh, showcase our videos that we do through YouTube and also a, uh, a way to tell people about some of the events that are coming up. And uh, as you can imagine, uh, some of you on Facebook have probably got the event uh, invites. This is especially handy if you have a uh, that fan base of hundreds or, or thousands of people that are already uh, linked into your newspaper. Well, now you have a way to invite each of them personally. Uh, you know, if, if you're hosting something this weekend, they'll be able to see it uh, really before anyone else. Now, uh, how does Wix stack up on Facebook? Uh, I, I don't have the, uh, the exact numbers up here, but I it's about um, 30 papers um, total that I counted have uh, some sort of web presence. And of those 30, uh, 10 papers have Facebook accounts uh, in some form. And uh, w when you have a presence on Facebook, it usually comes in one of two uh, forms. It's either a, a page or profile. Um, a page is something like um, you know you or me have. It's it's where we you know put our pictures, talk about our stuff, and uh, excuse me, uh, profiles are more like that. Pages are uh, set up with companies in mind, with organizations in mind, and that's uh, much more public. Now, uh, of those uh, ten newspapers on uh, Facebook that are part of WIC. About six have pages and uh, six have profiles. So you're thinking, well, uh, you know, what does that mean to me? Well, uh, like I said earlier, uh, profiles are meant for people. They usually have some sort of limit. And uh, the, the key difference, uh, and this is important when deciding uh, which one to choose when uh, setting up your page, is profiles are viewable by friends only. So if you want people to see the content, they're going to have to uh, request you as a friend or you have to request them as a friend and then they'll be granted all the access um, that you'd see if you added them normally as a friend. Pages on the other hand are uh, completely open. You don't even have to be on Facebook to see the company's Facebook page. And so you can imagine how this is much more advantageous. Is uh, You don't have to have someone always monitoring uh, your Facebook site to make sure people are approved or you don't have to actively seek out individual members uh, to approve them. You can, um, you know, go to almost any uh, company's Facebook page right now, and you know, don't even have to log in. You can see all the links they think they, they post. You can see all the uh, the things they're, you know, trying to tell you about. And also the other uh, advantage is they have no limit. So whatever uh, friend limit they, you know, increase uh, Facebook to, whether it's 5,000 or 10,000 friends, pages are in the tens of thousands. Uh, show you an example. Uh, I'll pick on the Anchorage Press here uh, for a moment. Uh, the Anchorage Press uh, is one of those four that has a profile page. Uh, now this is okay because it um, you can connect a little differently uh, with your fans and if we just go over to their Facebook page this is what we'd see. Uh, you know, we'd see their logo and a list of fans but not much more uh, beyond that. Uh, Tucson Weekly uh, has a Facebook page so not logged in we're cruising over there. We see everything that we'd see uh, as we would normally uh, if we were logged into Facebook and if we were uh, connected to them, whatever. So uh, we can see, uh, you know, links to Twitter. We can see uh, our wall, which is where you'd want to uh, post all your latest articles, updates, whatever. And all, all these things are completely clickable. So uh, besides article referrals, uh, you know, posting and sharing, what's the uh, the What's the best use of Facebook? And uh, th that answer, um, there's, there's quite a few. As I mentioned earlier, uh, event posting, uh, you know, featuring your pictures and videos, and, and also crowdsourcing. I mean, you'd be amazed uh, if you have thousands of people, at any given time, dozens of them are going to be logged on uh, whenever you log on. And if you need to ask them a question, if you're researching a story or uh, just don't know something or, you know, just want a quick opinion, you know, throw it out there, uh, you know, type it in the wall, and, you know, within a few minutes, uh, people will start responding to that. Uh, 